All right, your voice is gone, Rand. Can you tell the people why your voice is gone right now? My voice is gone because uh, we got about, how many kids do we have here? We have a lot of kids Hundreds, here. hundreds, Hundreds man. of kids here, um, and I had to make a lot of noise from them. I had the goosebumps. They, they, they put me in front of the kids, and um, I had to get wilder. You know what I'm saying? I had to bring that energy. And as you can see, I only had like a two-minute talk, but I lost, I gave everything I had, and I lost my voice, man. But um, it was worth it, man. Kids had smiles on their faces. Uh, I got to meet the coaches out here, man. The coaches are doing great things. Awesome staff, great event that they're putting on here, and I'm having the time of my life as well. James, did, did somebody reach out to you about this camp, or did you see it on your calendar and like, hey, I got to be out there if they're going to be in Tampa? Man, well, Coach, me and Coach Novell has already been texting um, and going back and forth, and um, since he's hit me up, um, we've been in the talks, and um, I seen on his Twitter that they were coming down here in Tampa. I just said, hey, I've been in Canada the last three years. I need to be around more, and this was something that I, I couldn't miss. What are some of your initial impressions of Coach Norvell? Man, um, that he reached out. Um, we, had a, we had a camp in Orlando that Kenny Shaw hosted, and um, there was a lot of the national championship guys getting back together for the first time. And um, it was like 25-plus of us from that team. And one thing that we all had in common, common that we liked about Coach Norvell is he reached out to us and he invited us back. Uh, we didn't really have that luxury before, and um, not that we have that luxury with him, the guys want to be a part. And I think it's something big that's brewing here, and we just want to be a part of it and help push him towards that goal. What does it mean that, that he wanted you guys to be part of this? Yeah, he, he invited us. He's like, hey, whatever we can do um, in between the lines, doing everything in between the rules to get you guys back, get you guys not just talking with the guys, but being a part of it. Whatever we can do, we're here. We're letting you know that we're a family as well now, and I'm happy to be a part of your family. And um, it, it, I kind of felt special at first. I was like, oh, man, he reached out to me. And then I went to Kenny Shaw's company, seeing he did it with everybody, which I was like, okay, that's still even better because that shows how much he knows, um, understands about the tradition. And, man, there was a lot of guys before that really wasn't too comfortable coming back because there was no invite. And he opened the door not just with the invite, but with open arms as family. I mean, I know you want to help. It's your alma mater. You love you love that yes, school. I mean, yes. The fact that you have the green light to be able to help, oh, what man, does it mean? Wrap. It's a wrap. I'm going to be around the most as possible now. Like I said, I mean, I'm, I'm going to Lakeland tomorrow. <laughs> it's a couple of things like an hour. I'm going to Lakeland tomorrow. I'm going to help as most as possible. Even in Tallahassee, I'm going to try to help out in Tallahassee as well. So what would your, your sort of message be to the fans that, you know, they saw what happened last season. They're yeah. feeling optimistic for the future. Yes, your yes. man, buckle up. Buckle up, man. Like I said, I got. I was able to talk to the staff, and then I'm talking to some of the players on the team. These, these guys are focused. Um, they have a great, great leadership group in the coaching staff, man, and these guys are buying in. So really strap up. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be, trust me, when I'm saying it, y'all know, it's going it's to be a fun one. It's going to be a fun one. All right, man.